I think it's pronounced Crew 90. What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Johnny, aka Crew 90. And uh, it's been a little while. In fact, it's been like eight years since I did my uh, residual limb video showing what my my residual limb, my stump, looked like after my amputation. So the first time I did it was uh, seven months after my amputation. And now um, it's been July, August, September, October, November, December. So it's been a, eight years and five months. So it's been literally almost eight years since the last time I did that video. So uh, I wanted to show how much it has changed and um, just give you guys a, a, a good view of what it looks like now. It's um, much different than it was then and it's much different than it was when it first uh, when the am amputation first happened so uh, it's actually kind of interesting how much it's changed so let's go down here all right so you can see it has some wrinkling which uh, I guess apparently is to be expected it's never gonna heal perfectly which, you know, I mean, I, I understand. I wish it wasn't quite as wrinkly, but it's what it is. Um, it does have a little bit of scarring on it and, stu and stuff. Um, you can kind of see right here, there's some scars from where I have gotten uh, irritations and bumps over the past. Um, mostly they've been either in the very beginning or the last like five years. Um, there was a little period of time where nothing was really happening but um, they've left scars. I actually have a scar on my knee right here. Um, I don't know if it's showing up in camera too well, but um, right here. And uh, that's from when I, was, I had some fibers on my prosthetic sock that I was, um, I was trying to cut the fibers off. Like um, they were sticking out, I didn't have scissors, so I used uh, the lighter which I had right by me and I didn't realize that the sock was made out of polyester and rather than just burning off the fibers like melted and dropped right onto my knee and of course burned the crap out of my knee but um so back down to here again um, all in all though I don't really have very much dog ears going on it's healed up quite nicely this is the one spot that gives me the most trouble which it's even red right now you can kind of see um, this is right where my bone ends. Right here is my bone. So um, it's right on the skin and it does give me some troubles. Um, most of this though is all pretty well, I mean it's all healed, but like it's all pretty smooth and even except for this spot right here where I have a crease. And that can kind of get irritated sometimes. Sometimes like it gets bunched on top of itself when I'm walking. Um, I usually try to keep my leg, f like my skin tight when I put my prosthetic on, but um, my knee is where the brunt of the problems come in, and I have little scar marks all over my knee, um, just from over the years. Um, this is the one scar I was really trying to show. Let's see, right here is a scar, and right here, just little scars, and these are from where I've gotten ingrown hairs that have just become irritated. Um, I have a MRSA scar somewhere over here from when I was like a year in or so. But all in all, it's healed quite well. Um, not, not as uh, bad as I imagined it would be eight years into things. Um, mostly the issues that I have with my with my residual limb are all just stemming from uh, the hair. I have a lot of hair on my leg, and so I'll sometimes we'll just get irritated, and I will shave it, and it makes it much more comfortable in the prosthetic. But then about two days later, when the hair starts really coming back, I get ingrown hairs, and of course every every single time, one or two of them will end up getting irritated. But uh, for the most part, I think that my limb has healed quite nicely um it's you know i don't mean this in a negative way but this is a lot better than some of the amputees that i have seen um nothing against them <laughs> but their limbs have not healed as nicely as mine so i really can't complain too badly um there is a lot of loose skin which does cause some issues 
um, and I might need a revision surgery in the next 10 years or so um, just because as this continues to get looser it could bunch up underneath your socket and when you put your leg in it bunches up underneath in your socket and causes it to just kind of not fit properly but for now we're doing all right the dog ears have completely gone down um, so I mean I'm, I'm very happy with the amputation uh, that the procedure not the, not the amputation that was done by the bailer but the follow-up amputation procedure that was actually done in the hospital because they did a pretty good job um, foreseeing any of the issues that amputees typically deal with but so yeah this is what a limb will look like uh, if it's healed properly um, and there will always be some variations of course but uh, you shouldn't have any dog ears anymore um, let's see if I can't just have it just hanging like yeah it just kind of should hang loosely no real dog ears I do have the bone right here which is a little bit of an issue you know would like to have a little bit more skin um, or some some fat in between the bone and my skin but can, what can you do but all in all it's healed up pretty nicely so uh, like I said the last time I did this was seven months post amputation now we are eight years five months so uh, I think there's a pretty substantial difference and uh, with that being said thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys next time did you know they sold these at uh, the store?